Graphing a quadratic inequality is quite similar to graphing a linear inequality. The first thing you need to do is you need to draw the graph. So I'm going to start here at my positive 8 because that's my translation of my parabola here. So I start at a point at 8. Now my a value is negative 2 which means I'm going to go over 1, down 2 on both sides and I'm going to go over 2, down 8. So the sketch of my parabola is going to look something like this. Now it's a solid line because my inequality includes the line. It's got the line underneath it which means it's greater than or equal to this line. So that means I draw a solid line. Now I need to decide which side of my parabola I'm going to shade. So I'm going to pick my test point 0, 0. I'm going to substitute it in. So I've got 0 is greater than or equal to 2 times 0 squared plus 8, which translates to 0 is greater than or equal to 8. That is not a true statement. 0 is not greater than 8, so I'm going to have to shade the side of my graph that does not include my test point. So I'm going to shade the side of my graph on the other side of the test point. Since the test point is under the parabola, I'm going to shade everything that is not included in the parabola. So everything outside of my parabola, or everything in the purple, would satisfy the equation. So if I picked any value over here, so let's say I picked the value x is 8, y is 7, that is in the shaded region, so it would satisfy the equation y is greater than or equal to negative 2x squared plus 8. Another example, here I have negative x squared plus 5. I'm going to start my equation at plus 5. It's just a negative 1, so over 1, down 1, over 2, down 4, over 3, down 9. And then I can draw my parabola. Again, this one's going to be a solid line because the inequality includes the graph. It's got the line underneath it, so it's greater than or equal to. And again, I'm going to pick a test point of 0, 0. So if I substitute in 0 is greater than or equal to negative 0 squared plus 5, I get 0 is greater than or equal to 5. Again, this is not true. So I'm going to shade in everything that does not include my 0. So my graph is going to look like this. The other way I could look at this, because it's a greater than equation, I've got it y is greater than, it's in a y equals form, I could look at my parabola, and since it's greater than, I'm going to shade everything on top of the parabola. So if I start at the vertex and go above the parabola, everything should be shaded and everything in that region. If it was less than, I would go below the parabola. So that's another way to look at it. Here's a final example. This one's in vertex form. I'm going to start at positive 2, positive 4. It's an a value of 1, so it's just a regular parabola. Over 1 up 1, over 2 up 4. It's again an equal to, so it's a solid line. And I'm going to put in 0 and see what happens. So 0 is greater than or equal to 0 minus 2 squared plus 4 which means 0 is greater than or equal to 8. Again, that's not true. So my test point is here. That means I need to shade the side of the parabola that is not part of the test point. So in this case, that's the part in here. So that's how you graph a parabola. First of all, you need to graph your regular parabola. Then you need to decide which side you're shading. Now I use test points. I substitute in a 0, 0 and I see whether if it's included I'm going to shade the part that includes it. If it's not included I shade the other side. 